I'm, I'm so I hope you enjoyed the three days of academic fest that we did at DVT. I hope you enjoyed the way the teachers raised the bar at the last three days, and I hope you loved the way we interacted in the DVT session. Now I'm here live today to talk about a very important change in the PG interest pattern that has happened today. Now I want you to understand what has happened in the last five years. In 2012, before 2012, in India, All India exam was 300 questions, single set, plus one or plus four we were you were, we were getting for a correct answer. Minus one was for the negative marking. In 2012, the government gave the All India exam to National Board of Examination, and they gave it to Prometric to conduct the exam. So the paper was made by NDE while the exam was conducted by Prometric. Now the recently the change has happened that Prometric is no longer conducting your All India exam. So what is the change here? Now Prometric is a specialized body which conducts exam in a multi set fashion. Now the exam is going to be single set. That means entire country would be giving the exam in a single set of 300 questions. And that will be a computer based test. We are not going towards a pen and paper exam. It is a computer based test. Computer based test, single set. Everybody appears for the single exam. And now they have introduced negative marking. The key thing that I want you to understand is now there is no psychometric analysis in the exam. There is no scaling or equating being applied in the exam. So the simplest interpretation of the fact is now the questions will all carry the same marks. They will all carry the same marks. Okay, so there is nothing like an easy question having less mark, tough question having more marks. There is nothing like this. And if you do a question wrong, you get one by four negative marking. Okay, so what is the implication? So let us learn the implication. Implication number one. So now imagine an examiner who has to make six thousand question. Now all of a sudden he has no work. He has to make only three hundred questions. So what I feel is this exam in this year's need will be more conceptual. I don't think they are going to ask any history or value based exam question in this exam. So as a damn student, I'm sure you are all well prepared. We have actually worked on concepts. We have worked on emergency management, ECG. I will be soon sharing a mob of video with you. So we have actually given you enough concepts based to actually look at the exam. This exam this year will be a very standard exam, good quality questions, and it will be having fair representation of all subjects. I want to cut out the rumors that you are hearing that the exam body has changed. No, exam body is still National Board of Examination. It is the conducting body which has changed. So I hope you understand the difference. So when the conducting body changes, the paper pattern does not drastically change because the exam making body is the same. Only difference is that National Board of Examination now has to make lesser number of questions, and it are more likely to be more conceptual, more quality questions in the exam, which you will actually love doing as a Damsonian or as a medical aspirant. I also want you to know another change that has happened here: introduction of negative marking. Now, when we were appearing for the All India exam or NEET exam last year, the dictum was because there is no negative marking, you were attempting all questions. When there is negative marking, you have to leave a few questions. When there is negative marking, a few questions have to be left. Okay, that is the key. Few questions have to be left, but which are to be left? Now, my secret here is that I want you to know: don't get panicked by a 25% negative marking. The secret here is a 1 by 4 negative marking should not discourage you from marking questions which you know. You understand? Try and understand when you look at a paper, there are three kind of questions. One, where you clearly know the answer, you have to do them. You have to do them. Two, where you are able to rule out two choices, and you are stuck with two. And out of the two, you have a gut feeling. Okay, probably it is A. I'm not really sure, but this is probably A. You have to do them as well. But there are questions where all four choices are new to you. Okay, you have no idea about the question. In the classic exam pattern that they were having last year, we were attending them also. This we will leave this time. So when there is a negative marking in the exam, the questions where you have no idea about the thing, you can leave them to avoid getting unnecessary negative marking. It is all mathematically proved. If you are able to rule out two choices, now there is 50% probability that you can get to the answer. It is a good guess to take. 
but if you are not able to rule out a single choice then it is 25 percent probability that you will get it right 75 percent that you will get it wrong you have to leave them if you have no idea about a question you will have to leave it but all said and done i have seen if it is a 300 question paper with plus four that means total marks 1200 and minus one is the negative marking i have seen in the past also you have to go above 250 to 60 in your attempt it has to be above 250 to 60 any day and toppers and people getting rank in top 500 you will be doing 280 plus okay and people in top thousand will usually top 2000 3000 it would be like 260 265 plus but any day it has to be more than 265 that you will have to attempt and good students getting 2000 1000 rank 500 rank would be 280 plus 280 plus in the attempt ratio and you will find them easy to do because we have prepared you fully okay so don't panic we have targeted every kind of pattern all teachers have taught you pure concepts in medicine surgery radiology obs and gynae pediatrics we've talked about all subjects ent ophthalmology so we have actually left nothing unturned so don't panic about the pattern pattern would be similar to what you have appeared in the last one india exam slightly more conceptual which is good for you more new questions will be possible here because then the guide books that you are using would be actually waste of exercise here because there will be more new questions because think of an examiner who has to make 300 questions it is easy for him he was earlier making 6000 questions now they have to make 300 questions they will make good quality new questions and the concepts that we are making in the classes the class notes they will be more utility than using the you know the trashy guide books that are available in the market now don't go by the famous names these names that they have been made famous in the guidebooks are most of the time you know uh, uh, hype created by the marketing people you know you have to look at people and you have to understand they do not beat the core concepts okay so don't go into rote learning don't go into mugging about facts that is going to uh, waste your time then now the time has come i will give you the goals finish your class notes finish your class test finish your grand test and from tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will update the marking scheme in the dams test series and all these subject wise tests and grand tests that you will appear from here onwards will have plus four minus one negative marking now you will get the real feel cbt exam that we will conduct on october 15 will again have negative marking of minus one and plus four will be the plus uh, score that you will get okay we have softwares in place to do any kind of marking we are able to give you uh, negative marking we are able to give you psychometric analysis we can give you anything okay so don't panic don't panic this is not the time to panic this is the time to hold hold yourself the idea that i want to share with you is it is just a thing that has happened today that they have changed the marking scheme and the way the exam is being conducted it is not a multi-set exam it is a single set exam it reduces the trauma on you you just have to go to an exam with everybody else you don't have to wait for your exam and you give the exam with a single focus in mind that whatever questions that you know you will do them correctly whatever you are able to guess out out of two choices ruling out you will still do them correctly if you have no idea about a question you will try to leave them and in the end you should be above 265 260 and if you are a good student maybe 280 285 plus should be your target you should you should be above that if you are a good student because i have seen over the years the difficulty level of the paper will not be too much it would be more conceptual so once you understand things you will be able to answer things will come back to you I also want to give you an idea here that I will after CBT announce one more test in your houses I will give you an online mock test one more okay so my goal is to make sure that I give you ample test practice because earlier at CBT we would end now after CBT I will give you one more mock test before the all India exam regarding the dates we will have to wait for next three four days for the national board to announce the possible dates okay so let's not speculate on to the dates don't go by the rumors let's right now let's believe that maybe you know let's let's keep the plan as is it is keep studying keep studying if the exam comes later a little five six days ten days late then okay you might revise once more but you have to keep your target december first week as of now and let us see what the date the national board announces i will come live and help you again with that 
Okay. So my goal is to make sure that you understand nothing much has changed. The exam board is still National Board of Examination. Paper pattern would more or less remain same. Only the bad quality questions will go away with conceptual questions because it is less number of questions uh, to be made by the exam board. For you it will feel just like the last year. Last year also you were giving just one paper. This year also you are giving just one paper. Okay. So even if it is a multi-set exam, you are not going to appear for all of them. So don't panic. If it is a single set exam this year, as has been announced, you are just appearing for one set and everybody else is appearing for the same set. Negative marking is there so that you avoid making blind guesses. But there is always a room for educated guests. Then, like I talk in my class, there is always a role for educated guests. You have to make sure that you rule out choices, learn to exclude, and you have, you have to be a smart boy to get good questions right. Okay, and so when I appeared for my All India exam years back, it was 300 questions plus four minus one negative marking was there. I almost did all the questions, and I actually got a All India rank four. Okay, so I, I actually believe that I never got scared of one by four negative marking because I, I was good at my concepts, and that is what I want you to have confidence in you. If you have concepts in your mind, the negative marking would not matter too much. Just be smart enough to avoid silly mistakes and be smart enough to rule out the two choices and the final thing be smart enough to look at your gut feeling you have to identify okay my gut feeling says okay this must be the answer you have to identify your gut feeling but if there is a question where you are getting no gut feeling no idea about the question leave it that is a simple rule of negative marking you you might leave four five six questions ten questions fifteen twenty you based on the level of your preparation and the kind of exam because that will help you prevent negative marking but if you become overtly defensive like suppose you become like Ravi Shastri in the past you know if you remember Ravi Shastri when he was playing cricket in the past you know he would defend all the balls okay I hope he's not listening to this video he would defend all the balls in the end you will lose the match you cannot be over defensive but in a but you cannot start guesswork you can't do inky pinky ponky you can't do that so negative marking introduces an element of caution but you cannot become over defensive is my message i will come live again after cbt to help you make your strategy again make sure that you register for cbt.damsary.com and you get proper practice in the negative marking exam this year CBT will be a single set exam with negative marking like the real exam. Okay, so we have already updated, don't panic. Grand test from one or two days later you, when you log into your online test, they will all be updated with a negative marking. Everything will be as per the current pattern. We will make sure that you get ample practice. There will be a AIMS mock scheduled, a PGI mock scheduled as well in due course. Start focusing on the next goals. Give yourself next 15 days. In this DVT, teachers have raised the bar, they have raised your momentum. Now push yourself in the next 15 days and make sure that you turn the tables and you have to make you know, your attempt count. Okay, I'm giving you my slogan for the day. You have to make your attempt count. You have to make sure that next 15 days you will revise or maybe complete your course once before the damn CBT so that before AIMS you are able to revise once more. Before AIMS, you have to revise your class notes and the DVD notes as well. AIMS is a very visually intensive exam and you will enjoy it has more emergencies, more visual, more basic sciences. That is why I had included some emergency based management in this year's DVD session. And I have also included genetic techniques that is again an AIMS focused thing that we have added here. Soon we will be adding two mop-up rounds, two mop-up sessions in the eMedicos app. They will be on contraceptive agents and ECG. Gradually we will be adding because I don't want to overburden you. That is why in between I had stopped because you had to come for DVT sessions. I have a plan in mind and you have to trust me that I know the game. I also want you to, I want to reassure you that we are on job. We know the pattern, we know the implications of negative marking, we know the boards, we know, we, we've been working very hard on this for the last two decades. We know the exam system. You have to trust us and you will enjoy your CBT experience as well. Okay? I also want to make sure that I give you a mantra here that AIMS exam is doable, PJ exam is doable, it is up to you. If you start believing in yourself, it is up to you where you can reach.
you have seen in the last three days i had given a target to teachers to rise to the occasion and deliver their best to make sure that they give you their best and i know and i'm very proud of my team my dams team my teachers my staff everybody has actually risen to the occasion we are very proud of it and i am sure my students will rise to the occasion in the exam and they will make sure and they will show to the people that what all you are able capable of achieving i am sure you will do well in your exams i am sure many of you will become amesonians many of you will become pgi uh, pgi pgiites many of you will become uh, you know jibmer uh, students and many of you will top and in neat exam many of you will get good branches many of you will become radiologists orthopedic surgeons i want to give you that dream and i am there to help you and i'm sure we will all make a v together after the all india result thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the dvd session as much as i did thank you very much i wish you all the best again